In this video, I want to show you how you can actually set up custom conversion tracking with your LinkedIn ads, which will allow you to have much better tracking into the performance of your overall ad campaigns, which means you can run LinkedIn ads more profitably. We'll be utilizing Google Tag Manager as well in today's tutorial, which is, in my opinion, the absolute easiest way that you can actually set up the custom conversion tracking for LinkedIn ads. Figuring this out all on my own was, to be honest, a huge pain in the ass. So I'm glad that I'll be walking you through step by step how to do it in today's tutorial. All right, so why do you even need conversion tracking to begin with? Well, let's say you have your ad manager here and you are currently seeing mine and you've created some ad which has the purpose of driving people to your website. So this is actually one of my ads here. I have a video breakdown of my system. And then of course my call to action is to go and book a call. So if you were to actually click here, you would see that the intention of the ad is to ultimately get someone to go to my actual website on a landing page where they can then fill out a form. Now, here's the thing, right? If you are not able to successfully measure how many people are actually clicking on this ad and ending up at your website and even booking a call, then you'll have no way of knowing whether or not the ad is actually successful. And if you don't know which ads are successful and which are not, then you're gonna end up spending too much money on bad ads or maybe not enough money on the well-performing ads. Now, the thing is with the LinkedIn ad platform, it'll only be able to tell you some numbers on its own. Things like how many people saw the ad or how many people clicked the ad. Of course, LinkedIn has access to this information because all of those different actions are taken directly on the LinkedIn platform itself. But how many people are actually going into your website and taking an action and booking a call? These are things that LinkedIn will not have access to because LinkedIn doesn't really know what's happening on your website. And what this means is you need to actually somehow give LinkedIn access to this information, even though it's normally only information that your website has access to. Now, how do you actually do this? Well, the simple solution is you actually take a single line of code and you implant it on your website. And this line of code allows LinkedIn to be able to see into your website so that it can actually know some of this additional information, such as whether or not someone has actually gone to your website and successfully booked a call. And then once again, once you have this data, you're able to know which campaigns are actually giving you the best metrics down the line. Not just how many people clicked it, but even how many people ultimately booked a call or even closed a deal. Now, I wanna walk you through how the setup actually works. So let's get into it right now. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is sign up for an account with Google Tag Manager. This is a really, really cool tool that Google provides and it allows you to organize a line of code so that you can put it more easily onto your website. So just start an account for free and you can see that I've already done this, but right now it's totally blank, which you'll see as well when you begin. And then when you create account, all you gotta do is provide some basic information such as where you are, the name of the company, and then also provide the name of your website. So I'm just gonna put in some dummy information now. You can click web because we will be using this on desktop and mobile. And then when you create, all you need to do is accept and then you can click yes and you are good to go. Now, once everything has actually been set up, you should have something that looks like this. Now, what you're seeing in front of you is my actual Google Tag Manager just because I wanted to show you what mine looks like. But before you do anything here, I want you to actually go into your LinkedIn Ad Manager because there's a few things that we need to set up there as well. Now, the first thing that I want you to do is go into Analyze and then go to conversion tracking inside your campaign manager. Now, what you're gonna be actually doing here is creating the actual conversion event of which you're trying to measure. So once again, if you imagine something like this, an ad where my objective is to try to get someone to actually book a call, what is it that I'm trying to measure in this situation? Of course, LinkedIn will already start measuring on its own the number of people who click into the website, but really what I'm trying to do is measure how many people book a call. So the way that someone will actually book a call with me is let's say they arrive on my website and they actually choose some sort of uh, time. Once this has been scheduled, what I actually do with my funnel flow is I will then redirect them into a thank you page. And a thank you page inside my funnel has all of these different testimonials to really get someone excited to jump on a call with me, but it also has a secondary purpose of being the place where I store the line of code 
which tracks whether or not someone has successfully booked a call because someone will only be able to land on this page if they have successfully booked a call. So what's going to happen is if I put the line of code on this particular page, anytime someone arrives on this page, that line of code will fire and it will essentially measure that there has been one extra person that has arrived here. And then because a LinkedIn has access to that line of code, LinkedIn will know that, okay, this is one extra person that I should be marking down as having successfully booked a call. So inside conversion tracking, that's actually what we have to set up. And you can see that I've already set it up here where if you were to go to this booked appointment, if you were to click into it, you would see that it's attached to that particular URL that I had just showed you of the thank you page. So anytime someone actually clicks into that particular page in the last 90 days, it will be measured. And this is cool because LinkedIn will not only allow us to count all the people who successfully got to that thank you page, but it will also be able to store into a list all those people who clicked into that thank you page so that we can actually build a custom audience with them later. And this will allow us to remarket to them or it can even allow us to build some sort of lookalike audience so that we can go after people who are resembling the characteristics of the types of people who've been booking with us in the past. So how do you actually build out this conversion tracking? Very simple, you just click Insight Tag Conversion and then you can just describe the type of page that you're trying to book. So in this case, it will be a thank you page. So thank you page. Define the key behavior that I wanna track. In this case, it would have been book appointment. Honestly, this doesn't matter too, too much. I usually just pick some sort of arbitrary number that might make sense. So in this case, because it's a booked appointment, the value is a little bit higher, so maybe a hundred. If it was just something as simple as visiting the website, it'd be a lot lower, so maybe a dollar. And then you can define the time frame for the clicks and the views. I normally just leave this towards last touch each campaign. And then here is actually where I'll use the tag manager setup. So the partner inside tag, this is something that you're gonna have to copy and paste into Google Tag Manager. And with this, just leave it at page load because essentially what it means is that the code will just fire whenever the page gets loaded. And that's what we're trying to do. Now, the way that it works here is you're trying to identify the specific URL that you are trying to measure. So you don't wanna make it equals because equals means that it has to be the exact same and you never really know how someone arrives to your website because as you can see, sometimes URL gets added upon additional lines of text and whatnot, and it'll modify the overall URL. So instead, set this to contains, and then just copy and paste the part of the URL that will always be consistent. So in my case, that would be just attractingskill.com slash TYP, which stands for thank you page. And then I would just copy and paste that section. And then from here, you can attach it to whichever campaigns you actually want to set up. So create, and there you go. Now you have your thank you page that has been set up inside your conversion tracking. Now it's unverified right now because it's brand new and it'll take some time for it to be able to reflect whether or not the pixel has been live. But you can see here that I actually do have several of these conversion trackings which are in fact active. And the way that you can set it up active is by actually setting it for Google Tag Manager, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. So let's go to your Google Tag Manager and there's a couple things that need to be set up. So go to new tag and then tag configuration, click this little icon right here. And then you're gonna to have to search up LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0 specifically. So this is the one that you're gonna want. So click that. And then it's gonna actually ask you for your partner ID here. So of course, that was given to you earlier. Under Analyze Insight Tag, I will use a tag manager. You will actually be able to grab that really easily. So just copy and paste that. And then click into Partner ID, copy and paste that over here. The rest of this, I just leave blank, but then with triggering, I'll actually click all pages. So click all pages, and then you're going to have to click save. All right. So I would just name it LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0. That's totally fine. And then you have to click submit. Okay. So here version name, and I'll just put in the date. So to be February the 3rd, 2024. And then you can say added LinkedIn Insight Tag publish and that's it. Now there is one more thing that you have to do for this all come together. Now, if you recall, what I said is that you need to be able to take a particular line of code and actually embed it into your website. Now, the reason why we needed to do what we just did is LinkedIn actually is now integrated into Google Tag Manager. So the line of code now exists inside this Google Tag Manager. However, Google Tag Manager 
does not exist in your website yet. So you actually have to now take Google Tag Manager and put it inside your website. Now you might be wondering, why are we doing all these different steps, right? Why not just take the line of code directly from LinkedIn and put it inside your website? Why instead are we putting it in Google first and then putting Google inside our website? Well, the reason why is because doing it manually, putting that line of code directly from LinkedIn into your website can be a total pain in the ass. But Google makes it a lot more user friendly to be able to implant that line of code into the website. So that's why we're going to be doing it with Google. As well, you might actually find that you have to do this for other types of ad platforms as well. As an example, Facebook and Instagram, they all have their own little line of code that also needs to be injected into your website. So if you were to have say like five or six different lines of codes that you got to put into your website, it can be very difficult to manage. Whereas if you put them all inside Google Tag Manager, and then you put one Google Tag Manager code into your website, it's much easier to maintain because now all of your codes can be just easily more managed inside Google rather than directly inside your website, which can get very, very messy. So how do we do this? Well, here's where you're gonna have to log into your website and it doesn't really matter which website you're using. For me, I use ClickFunnels, but maybe you use WordPress or Go High Level or many other types of content management systems. It doesn't really make a difference because all of these different uh, website builders really should have an easy place for you to automatically just drop in a particular line of code. So in this case, my thank you page is actually hosted on my calendar booking funnel. So I would just go into the settings and I would actually need to copy and paste the header code and the body code from Google Tag Manager into these respective sections and then save it. As you can see, I've already done that. You can see Google Tag Manager code both here and here. So I'm just gonna show you how you can grab the code and then embed it into your website, right? So the way that you would do that is you would go to admin, you would click install Google Tag Manager, and then you can actually see that there's directions here. You can copy and paste your initial code and then it'll just say, hey, put it into the header and then the same thing with the body code. That's exactly what you're seeing right here. And then once that's all done, you should be able to just test your website. So let's actually just click the URL for the thank you page, copy and paste it in, and let's just test it. And then we see a green little check mark, and that means the code has been successfully put into my website. So then whenever a LinkedIn ad is able to send traffic to my website and someone successfully books a call, the metrics in the back end is able to track, okay, call has been booked, here's who this person is, let me store this person into a list, and then I have the data to be able to do additional remarketing or just analyzing which campaigns of mine have been the most successful. So hopefully this was helpful, everyone. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do. It does mean a lot because I'm still a small but growing channel. And every time I actually know that people are seeing impact from my content, it makes me inspired to create more content just like this for you. By the way, if you're curious about potentially improving your own processes, whether it be about LinkedIn ads or other growth type of things, I provide one-on-one -on -one consultations so that I can help clients just like you scale to the next level. So if that's something that you're curious about because you're stuck in your business, book a call below in the description box. I've helped over 150 plus companies at this point around the world scale to the seven and even eight figure level, whether it be agencies, SaaS companies, coaches, consultants. So I'm really excited to have that conversation with you if you're keen. If you're not ready, that's cool too. Just check out my other videos up top because I have a ton of free content that's heading your way so that you can grow your business. All right, cheers.